The Journey. It was the year 2000. Only an hour away, the world's finest athletes gathered for the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games. But in Melbourne, a heroin crisis was unfolding. Cheap drugs flooded the market. Addiction skyrocketed. Government support was scant. Ad hoc services were delivered by non-profits or hospitals and were roundly criticised for their lack of cohesion. In collaboration with Reverend Tim Costello, Melbourne business owners and philanthropists Peter and Lindy White purchased a house in St Kilda to provide detox services to people desperately in need. The First Step program was born. In a back room, an improvised ward was created. Mattresses lined the walls as scores of people were nursed through the worst of their withdrawal symptoms under the watchful eye of a handful of GPs, volunteer nurses and AOD workers. The service that was delivered to people was important, but evidence-based procedures for addiction medicine were rudimentary. What First Step really provided was an avenue of hope in an otherwise bleak landscape. Treatment developed as experience delivered insight and demanded improvement. Enter Paul Little and Toll Holdings. In an extraordinary display of visionary leadership, Paul Little and his team at Toll recognised the absence of a crucial element, purpose. True recovery demanded a compelling reason to get better, a reason to get out of bed in the morning. Second step was born. The requirements of entry a criminal record and a history of drug use. The result? Well, it was nothing short of life-saving for the more than 500 people that passed through its doors. In 2003, Brian Ambrosius was appointed as CEO to bring the organisation together. The evolution of First Step gathered momentum. In 2008, a motivated young lawyer with a drive to create solutions rather than perpetuate a failing system came up with an idea. Locate a legal service within a healthcare setting. This would enable lawyers to deliver effective courtroom advocacy. It would ensure that context played an important role in the decisions made by the courts. It promoted and supported genuine attempts at recovery. It provided the breathing space necessary for healing to occur. Lack of government funding was a double-edged sword. Survival was a daily grind. Every dollar counted. It was often tough to make ends meet. And yet, there was a silver lining to this struggle. Unfettered by bureaucratic or ideological rules, First Step had enabled a microclimate of client-centred care. Between the industry silos of mental health and addiction medicine, First Step was free to carve a different path. Its structure could reflect the lived experience of its patients. Mental health and addiction were inextricably linked and First Step set about finding ways to address both issues together. Over the years, things have changed. First Step has continued to evolve. In our 20th year of operations, First Step has so far taken on a neighbouring property from which to expand our growing service, been invited to become a fully funded community legal centre, secured funding to deliver our collaborative multidisciplinary model into the crisis housing sector, initiated a systematic global review of similar services groundbreaking in its scope been cited by Mental Health Victoria as a centre of best practice. The future looks bright, but over and above all of those achievements, we remain focused on one thing, a deep-rooted certainty that the real power behind First Step, the currency of its success, is you, the people of First Step. This celebration is about you. To our volunteer boards, past and present, who often take on tasks far exceeding that of any normal board. For the tireless work of the front-facing staff and volunteers also, past and present, you make real our mantra that every person deserves every chance to turn their lives around. For the unwavering loyalty of our funders, supporters and partners, 
And finally, to Peter and Lindy White for your ability to envision a different outcome for those suffering from addiction. For the fearlessness of your actions 20 years ago, the ripples of which are still being felt today. Happy anniversary and thank you.